Unified namespace. Sounds like an expensive buzzword. That line blew up on LinkedIn last week, but every time I hear it, I smile because real numbers keep proving the opposite. Back in 2014, I met Walker on a monster SCADA rebuild for Pioneer Natural Resources. They've burned that name Firebrand um, because they've been instigators of bold new ideas, trailblazers in new practices, and being outspoken, very outspoken advocates for ignition. Um, the first 2015 ignition Firebrand Silver Award winner goes to Trimax Systems. Their client for this project was Pioneer Natural Resources. Using ignition as the platform, Trimax led the development of an enterprise class data system that manages 40,000 devices, millions of tags, and 14,000 sites across 2,000 unique users. This multifaceted project will save Pioneer millions of dollars in the years to come. And here to accept the award is Walker Reynolds. This was an amazing project. 16 months ago, um, it wasn't even possible. It literally wasn't possible. Without the, without the help of Travis Cox and Kevin McCluskey and the development team, Colby and Carl, getting the Gateway Area Network developed, getting web dev rolled out in 771, uh, literally this just wouldn't have been possible. 13 months, 10,000 man hours, and we we produced magic. It was an amazing, amazing project, and uh, I'm really, really grateful for everyone who participated. We had 40,000 remote wells, 40,000 devices, 6 million live tags that all had to show up in one ignition cluster. We didn't wire a spider web of point to point connectors. We built a governed namespace, so every tag had one canonical home driven by a database-backed tag engine. Really was a unified namespace management utility that we built. The result, new well onboarding dropped from four hours to 25 minutes, nuisance alarms fell by 80%, and Pioneer saved north of a million dollars a year in operating costs. Fast forward to 2019, a flexible packaging printer rang us up to hook up a laminator for a quick win, connecting some devices with Kepware. Walker self-funded a proof of concept for a digital manufacturing execution system that mashed PLC data, the job jacket, SQL order information from their homegrown database and barcode scans into one unified namespace and that plant brought the pilot in week three. When Walker demoed the proof of concept to their executive management, they said, how can we get more? So they invested a little over a million dollars over four years on this proof of concept that they built for initial $50,000 investment, kept iterating and building until that factory became the live demo that everyone eventually had to integrate with on stage at the Prove It conference. 39 vendors plugged in within hours because the namespace was already there. And that live data was what all of the different vendors consumed from to create information and publish back into that namespace for that virtual factory. It was based on a real manufacturer that the Walker's company, Intellic Integration, had digitally transformed over the course of four or five years. Quick pause to thank Siemens WinCCOA for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for an open architecture SCADA platform that scales from a single production line to a global enterprise, WinCCOA is your toolkit. It's vendor agnostic, object oriented, and engineered for massive data volumes. It's the perfect foundation for your unified namespace strategy. Learn more at the link in the description and tell them 4.0 Solutions sent you. And remember, WinCCOA is more than just a SCADA platform. It's an IIoT platform built for solving the most difficult of problems. Now back to the video. Still think the UNS is overkill? Let's talk about Tesla. Tesla just switched on the first robo taxi fleet in Austin. How did they do that? Architecture. From an instant, the customer clicks order through giga casting, the chassis, through over the air up updates to your driveway. Every event lands in a single digital nervous system and which ultimately feeds their Dojo AI supercomputer. Full self-driving soaks up billions of real world miles from the fleet to train neural networks. You could think of it like chat GPT, but for driving trained on video data. And where did Tesla learn that playbook? Take a look at Amazon. In 2002, Jeff Bezos issued the now legendary API mandate email where every team will expose its data as a service with no exceptions. They turned over a bunch of the workforce over 18 months, but the result of it was Amazon Web, ultimately what became Amazon Web Services, which we know is one of the most profitable sectors of Amazon. 
Why? Because Amazon is a data company and it started with their digital strategy and it's built upon a unified architecture. So that culture of compulsory data sharing is why Amazon's robot run warehouses can orchestrate hundreds of robots plus humans in real time and why AWS even exists today. So when the skeptics warn, you'll end up with overlapping namespaces in two years. Remember, governance beats sprawl. Tesla enforces namespace contracts in software. Amazon makes it cultural law. Our packaging client checks every topic change in a GitLab continuous improvement pipeline. And Pioneer audits quarterly. Architecture plus discipline wins every time. Industry 4.0 without a unified namespace is like a GPS satellite without coordinates. It's expensive hardware adrift. With it, you slash integration costs, accelerate adoption of AI, and scale indefinitely. Whether you're pumping oil, printing snack pouches, or dispatching robo taxis. Ready to road test your own unified namespace? Take the free IIoT mini course below or sign up for our leveraging MCP and unified namespace workshop on July 29th and 30th. Drop your spiciest critique in the comments and smash that like button. Let's build a future together. Thanks for watching.